Hey everybody, this is Joel with Backroad Builds. I've gotten some questions about 4043 and 5356 aluminum wire and when you would use one over the other. Let's take a few minutes today to talk about some of those. Now, 4043 and 5356 both can be used to weld a few different base materials, such as 6061, like this piece of tubing, 3003, and 5052 series aluminum. When it comes to appearance, 4043 has about 5% silicon in it and is less prone to cracking, leaves a shinier bead, and wets out really nice. Now 5356 has 5% magnesium and that'll leave a more dull, sooty looking bead. Now if you're going to anodize the part after welding, such as an aluminum bike frame, 4043 is going to leave a dark gray to black streak where the weld is, and 5356 will give you the best color match. If you're going to form the part after welding, 4043 is more ductile, while shear strength, if that's important, 5356 would be your better choice. If you're going to be welding on a casting, they are higher in silicone content, so 4043 would be the best choice for that. 4043 is also heat treatable and can withstand temperatures over 150 degrees Fahrenheit, where mag the magnesium that's in the 5356 is not suitable for elevated temperatures. Today we've covered some of the basic differences between 4043 and 5356 aluminum wire. If you know your base metal but are still unsure which wire to use, contact Hobart Service and they will have all the information you need and can steer you in the right direction.